The most common issue I see while teaching Lightroom is importing. People are always asking me where do my images go, why can't I find them? So this video is about how I import. Hopefully it'll help you import your images safely. Before we get started importing images, there's a couple things you have to know about Lightroom. Number one, I'm going to be referring to the operating system as the OS and Lightroom as the database. When you install Lightroom, the first thing it creates inside your pictures directory is the Lightroom catalog folder. Inside there you'll find the preview file and the LR or Lightroom catalog file. It also installs a folder by the year inside the pictures directory as well and this is where your actual images will go. Number two, the only images and folders that you'll see inside your Lightroom catalog are those that you have imported from or to. Therefore, if you have not imported from a certain folder in your OS, Lightroom will not see those folders. They will not be visible inside your particular catalog. Number three, once images have been imported into a particular catalog in Lightroom, all changes must be made within Lightroom, especially moving files from one folder to another. And finally, number four, and this is the big one. Now remember I said that Lightroom will store images in a separate folder than the actual catalog file. Well, that's exactly what it does. Inside your pictures file, by default, Lightroom will store your images inside a folder by the year. And inside that year, you'll have month and day. But because I don't particularly like all those folders for all the different days, I override the system. Imagine that. And inside my RAID, I have a folder called Digital Camera Files. Inside there, I have one for myself. And inside there, I have all the years. Inside the year, for example, I take 2012, and I go up here to Kauai, and inside Kauai, I have all the pictures I took while I was on Kauai in that particular shoot. Okay, we're almost ready to start importing images, but there's one thing inside the Lightroom preferences that I want you to change, and that's in the General tab. I want you to uncheck Show Import Dialog when a memory card is detected. I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, we're finally going to import some images. And I've stuck the card into a card reader on my desktop computer. And as you notice, no import dialog box has come up because I unchecked that box. Now I'm inside the library module of my catalog and over under the folders tab, you can see I've navigated from where I told you I showed you the digital camera files, mark, 2013 and inside here I'm going to put these image files. Now I don't see a folder for what I have photographed yet so I'm going to right click and say create a folder inside that 2013 folder and I'm going to call this one employees because that's exactly what I photographed and you'll see why in a minute. If I click on that folder obviously it says no photos selected and then I right click on this folder, I can say import to this folder. Now I know exactly where those image files are going to go. And I'm going to go around and show you everything that's important as far as importing images. Number one, I've got a specific card that I loaded with all these pictures or portraits of my employees. That's exactly what I want to import. That is the source over here on the left. The next thing I look at is right in the middle up at the top here, and that is copy. I don't want to copy as a DNG. I'll copy to DNG later. I don't want to move them. I don't want to add them. I want to copy them because they're coming from a camera card to my computer. Next thing is, is to double check exactly where they're going. And this shows you a link of exactly where those images are going. That's a hyperlink, if you will. Next thing is file handling. I'm going to close all these so we can go over them one by one. The first thing that you want to look at is don't import suspected duplicates. That can be a help if you leave your picture files on the same card and you shoot multiple times throughout the day, then you'll only import the ones that Lightroom knows it hasn't imported. That can be very handy. The next thing is file renaming. I rename all the files that I take from the camera number that it gives. And I do this using shoot name plus original file number. And then I come down here and I give it the shoot name right here. So what I'm gonna end up with is the shoot name plus the original camera file number. The reason I do that is I use multiple cameras on specific shoots. That way I will have unique names for every single picture I take. In addition, during import, I apply the metadata that I have saved. And what I want to do is walk you through that. I'm going to say new, and in here is it going to come up with a preset. And so this is going to be Mark's, Mark's stuff. 
and inside there I'm going to give this a particular name. Copyright is option G on a Mac and my name and I want to say that this is copyrighted not public domain and I want to put all my information in here such as my name and address and blah 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 and then I come all the way down and the one other specific keyword I want to put is my name. Now I don't want to get too specific on this particular template because this is used for every picture I'm going to take. I save that and then I come over here to metadata and I can choose mark stuff. Once again we can double check that this is going to the correct destination and that's in here. Now typically what you have to change from the default is this little organize button here because by default Lightroom will have this set to date and that's where you get all those folders. See there's the year and there's the day. But because of the way I'm overriding the system I want to change it to into one folder. We've already chosen the folder because that's where we're importing to and that's employees right here. And now I'm finally ready to hit the import button.